When analysts speak about modern air defense, much attention goes to the high-end systems, Patriot batteries that can stop ballistic missiles, or medium-range solutions like the Iris TSLM that intercept cruise missiles and aircraft. Yet the wars of the past decade, and especially the ongoing conflict in Ukraine, have demonstrated that the most persistent and immediate threats are often small, cheap, and low-flying. Drones that cost only a few thousand dollars, or cruise missiles flying just above the treetops, have inflicted enormous damage on military installations, energy infrastructure, and even civilian populations. Defending against these threats requires more than billion-dollar missile systems. It requires a cost-effective, mobile, and resilient solution. For Sweden, that solution is the RBS-70NG. The RBS-70NG, developed by Saab, is the latest iteration of Sweden's long-standing laser-guided short-range air defense system. Unlike many man-portable air defense systems such as the American Stinger or the Russian Igla, the RBS-70 does not use infrared homing. Instead, it relies on a beam-riding guidance method, where the missile follows a laser beam projected by the operator directly onto the target. This makes it virtually immune to countermeasures such as flares or heat decoys, which are designed to confuse infrared seekers. In an age where drones and advanced aircraft increasingly rely on electronic warfare and decoy tactics, the laser-guided approach of the RBS-70NG offers a significant advantage. In technical terms, the RBS-70NG carries the Bolide missile, capable of engaging targets at ranges up to 9 kilometers and at altitudes up to 5 kilometers. That may sound modest compared to a Patriot, but it perfectly matches the role it was designed for, intercepting low-flying helicopters, drones, and aircraft before they can strike ground forces or critical infrastructure. The missile is fast, highly maneuverable, and equipped with a fragmentation warhead optimized to destroy small aerial targets. The system's night sight and thermal imaging allow it to operate in all weather conditions and at any time of day, ensuring coverage in the scenarios most exploited by drone operators. The NG in RBS-70NG stands for Next Generation, and the upgrades over the legacy RBS-70 are significant. The new system features an integrated sighting unit with an automatic target tracker, which reduces operator workload and increases accuracy. It also includes improved ergonomics and digital interfaces, allowing easier integration into modern command and control networks. Perhaps most importantly, the RBS-70NG can be mounted not only on tripods carried by infantry, but also on vehicles as part of Saab's mobile short-range air defense platform. This mobility makes the system far more versatile, allowing it to move quickly with mechanized units or reposition to protect high-value assets under threat. Mobility and cost-effectiveness are key advantages. Firing a Patriot interceptor can cost several million dollars, and even Iris T missiles are expensive assets. Using such weapons to destroy a quadcopter drone or a loitering munition would be a losing proposition economically, even if technically possible. The RBS-70NG, by contrast, offers a relatively low-cost option that can be deployed in large numbers, providing coverage across a wide area without bankrupting the defense budget. This layered approach, high-end systems for high-end threats, and cost-effective systems for mass-produced drones, mirrors the lessons NATO has drawn from Ukraine and other recent conflicts. For Sweden, the deployment of RBS-70NG is particularly important on Gotland. The island, once left undefended after the Cold War, is now being transformed into a fortress. Patriot batteries will handle long-range threats like ballistic missiles, Iris T, SLM systems will deal with cruise missiles and combat aircraft. But the final line of defense, protecting these expensive systems as well as civilian infrastructure, will fall to RBS-70NG. 
Drone swarms, helicopter assaults, and low-level cruise missiles cannot be allowed to bypass the upper layers, and it is here that the RBS-70 provides essential coverage. Saab has recently secured a contract worth approximately 1.5 billion SEK to deliver Mshored versions of the RBS-70NG to the Swedish Armed Forces, with deliveries scheduled between 2027 and 2028. This marks a substantial investment in ensuring the resilience of Sweden's defense network. Comparison with foreign equivalents highlights why Sweden continues to rely on this system. The American Stinger, while famous, uses infrared guidance and can be deceived by countermeasures. Its range is shorter than that of the RBS 70NG. Russian man pads such as the Igla S or Verba also rely on infrared homing and, while dangerous, do not offer the same immunity to flares or the same range. The RBS 70NG's laser guidance means that the only way to defeat it is to break line of sight a difficult task for a drone or helicopter in the relatively open landscapes of the Baltic. The trade-off, however, is that the operator must maintain the laser on the target until impact, which demands training and exposes the crew for longer. Yet, in a well-trained force like Sweden's, this is considered a manageable limitation. The strategic significance of the RBS 70NG extends beyond Gotland. As Sweden integrates into NATO, the system can be deployed alongside Allied forces, contributing to a distributed air defense network across the region. Its compatibility with NATO command systems ensures that it can share data and be queued by external radars, making it more effective as part of a collective shield. In exercises and real operations, mobile RBS 70 NG units could protect convoys, forward operating bases, or critical supply nodes. In essence, they are the last line of defense in a layered system, ensuring that no cheap drone or helicopter can slip through to cause disproportionate damage. The lessons from Ukraine underscore the value of such systems. Russian forces have launched thousands of Shahed drones supplied by Iran, alongside caliber cruise missiles and guided bombs. Defending against this variety of threats has required Ukraine to use a mixture of Western systems, Patriots for ballistic missiles, Iris-T for cruise missiles, and man pads, or gun-based systems for drones. Sweden is applying these same lessons proactively. By investing in RBS-70NG, Stockholm ensures that it will not be caught unprepared in the event of a conflict in the Baltic. Looking ahead, Saab continues to develop enhancements to the system, including integration with radar sensors and artificial intelligence for faster targeting. The possibility of combining RBS-70NG with unmanned ground vehicles or mobile command nodes could further increase its flexibility. For Sweden, which prides itself on a defense industry that blends innovation with export potential, the RBS-70NG is both a national asset and a product with international relevance. More than 19 countries have already purchased versions of the RBS-70, and the NG variant is likely to see expanded sales as the drone threat grows worldwide. Ultimately, the RBS-70NG is not about glamour or headlines. It is not the kind of weapon that grabs attention like an advanced fighter jet or a massive warship but it is exactly the kind of weapon that wins modern wars. By providing cost-effective, mobile, and resilient protection against the low-cost aerial threats that dominate battlefields today, it ensures that Sweden's more expensive assets can operate without fear of being harassed or destroyed by drones and helicopters. On Gotland, the system will make the difference between a fortress that looks impressive on paper and one that can truly withstand sustained attack. Sweden's approach is clear. Build a layered defense where every tier is optimized for its mission. Patriots intercept ballistic missiles. Iris-T secures the middle airspace. RBS-70NG handles the low-level, persistent threats. Together, they form a shield that is greater than the sum of its parts. 
This is the future of Baltic security, and it is one that Sweden is embracing with determination. If you want to follow this transformation further, stay tuned as we continue this series by examining Sweden's naval forces. Starting with the stealthy Visby-class corvettes now being upgraded with CAM air defense missiles. Your support through subscribing and sharing helps bring more serious, data-driven defense analysis to a wider audience. Join us as we explore how Sweden is turning from a neutral bystander into NATO's northern shield.